You done lost your damn mind. And when you get your damn mind, you call me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know this beat, a girl player beat coming out with a new video. So today we're going to be talking about Love Island USA Season 5, Episode 12, and let's get right into the video. So in today's episode, basically, Keenan and KK are in the hideaway, and you know, they're having a time, and basically what we later find out, they went, they did a home run. Mm, yeah. So, it is what it is. Um... So we just leave it at that. Um, next thing you know, we have this whole Anna, Leonardo, and Cassie situation. Um, Destiny talks to Leonardo, basically says that you had like very terrible timing. You know, you're still in the couple with Anna. You know, you should have did things in a better timing. And then she told Cassie, you know, you should go talk to pull Anna for a chat just to like be cordial because they all live in the, the villa together. So they should be cordial. So that was a chat. So then later that night, before he went to the bed, Anna, not Anna, Cassie and Leonardo were kissing in the bathroom. And I think Anna was saying that she could hear. So the next thing you know, she made a whole pillow fort to like block Leonardo from coming over to her side. So she was like very ex like extra with it, like getting everybody's pillows just so that Leonardo won't get to her side. So he's, I guess, saying that. She's over him. She's done with him. This whole Burby situation because after Carmen basically friend zoned him, and you know even though he fought for her to stay in the villa, and you know now he basically is down and out because the girl that he fought for doesn't even want him, so he feeling all bad. And then Hannah basically is always there to comfort him and whatnot. So it is what it is. Anyway, let's talk about this whole Anna situation. I'm just like, I'm still not catching Anna's drift because like, yeah, you're in a couple, but you did the same exact thing to Cassie when she was in the couple originally with Leonardo. So I don't really get this whole, you know, you feel some type of way because at the end of the day, they're in the villa for themselves. They don't know when the next recoupling is gonna happen. They don't know when the next thing is gonna happen. So to basically tell them, oh, wait till they're not in a couple anymore to start moving to Cassie. It's kind of like, you don't even know how much time you have in that villa to make that suggestion. Even though you want to move how you want to move, then you have to be mindful because they all live together in the villa. Um, anyway, let's get on to this whole Harrison and Destiny situation. Um, obviously, it seems like it wasn't as big of a situation because he's still, they're still doing what they normally do you know kiss cuddle hold hands all that basically act like they're a real couple so i mean i don't know what's that what's going on in that next thing you know they get a text that they're gonna have a pool party in the villa and the three new bombshells come in which are emily jonah and kenzo during the villa pool party and basically they came in you know the guys were with the guys and the girls with the girl and the guys are basically saying like you know try to keep their cards with their chest as normal you know never really say who they're really coming in for and then you know emily basically told the girls that keenan marco and harrison were her top three so you know she basically let it you know let everybody know who she really checking for um so they like mixed and mingle you know the guys went over to the girls and chat a bit and basically, I mean, talked about their types. We find out that Jonah is basically checking for Carmen and Hannah, while Kenzo was looking for, was also looking for Carmen and Anna. Those two people. So those are the two, like two, three girls that they were looking for to the most. So next thing you know, um, you know they have this little game and basically it was just like they have to jump into the pool to get the dare and basically talk about it yeah so kenzo went first and he had a dare then he had to jump in for emily and she had a dare and she decided to kiss 
Bergie and that kiss with Bergie was just like very extra and you know she was like it wasn't the best but she I guess liked the kiss with Bergie which I was like okay um Jonah he jumped in he asked Destiny you know craziest place that she did the deed and then she said Africa so then he see Harrison basically say oh why would you pick a country and I'm like bro please like Harrison please like please but I feel like Destiny I guess was a little very much vague with her answer because you know we got like destinations and I'm like or specific areas and she just says Africa <laughs> so next thing you know Harrison you know jumps in and basically Destiny had to give you know the person that she thought was like the best looking a lap dance so she gave Harrison a lap dance and then she had I think Jonah went in again and he had he gave Destiny another dare or Harrison a dare and the dare was to do a three-way kiss so he picked Destiny and Anna so Destiny was just like no nah, I don't really want to kiss Anna like but Anna was like oh she wanted she was so eager with the kiss and Destiny was like no, me and Harrison kiss, and then you can kiss Anna. So they had a little kiss or whatever. So then they made Jonah, I guess, kiss um, who he really likes to kiss, and then he kissed Hannah. So you see Marco's face kind of like, you know, very bothered because obviously he's in a couple of Hannah and whatnot. And the thing about it is before this whole thing happened, Hannah and Marco had a sit down conversation and she basically lets him know that she has feelings for him or starting to have feelings for him and then he says basically he's starting to have feelings for her too so they basically are like on the same page with that so he was bothered by that kiss it is what it is hannah basically said that she wasn't even feeling it she's like you know she's kind of not really moving to that way she's still still stuck on marco so after the game harrison basically asked destiny like oh you know did she kiss a girl before or whatever and i'm like i just think he's just trying to gauge like i guess how out there she is because i think he thinks she's very reserved and stuff like that and i'm just like like please be for real please be for real and the thing about this before harrison you know when harrison met emily he was like, oh, I'm not even, I'm not tied down or closed off with Destiny. I'm still open and whatnot. And I think about it, I'm not even going to get him wrong for being open because granted, he's only been coupled up with her for maybe a week or less, you know, a week or less. I'm not even going to like, you know, get on him for being open because I mean, granted, they look like they're going okay and good, but you know, keeping options open is not too bad. It's just the way you go about it having your options open so not even gonna get on him for that but he was very open he was just like you know trying to put it out there that he was open but i don't know if anybody's catching his drift kenzo is doing his rounds he's talking to carmen he's talking to anna and i think um emily is you know talking to marco and she had a really long conversation with marco so then Destiny, KK, and Hannah are up there. So, so they were basically happy for Anna and Kenzo's conversation because they were like, oh, good for Anna, good for Anna. So they were talking about Emily and they were like, they were just hoping that Emily's not like Cassie who just doesn't really care how she goes about things. But, and Hannah's obviously feeling worried. But obviously, Emily's and Marco's conversation seems very, very good. After that conversation, Emily's like, she loves talking to Marco. And then Carmen comes over while Anna and Kenzo were talking and she sits next to Leonardo and Cassie. And so they're talking and then Leonardo basically hints or basically tells Carmen about Harrison. He's like, oh, I thought you, he's like, I thought you would be like interested in Harrison. And she basically said like, Harrison's very closed off. He doesn't even flirt with her, you know, he's very like uptight or whatever and stuff like that. So I'm just like, it's kind of funny that he's calling, or he's like seemingly calling Destiny very like reserved and uptight. But then, you know, Carmen's also saying that he's, you know, uptight 
and you know closed off and whatnot and the thing about it is that i feel like if the conversation went on longer we would have figured out what leonardo was trying to say to carmen because i think he's trying to give her i guess a bit of tea on harrison but we didn't even get that because then emily comes over and they're talking and then obviously she's very hooked on you know marco for the moment so it is what it is um we see the preview for tomorrow night and basically Anna's talking to Cassie saying like oh did you and Marco did you and Leonardo have a kiss and she's like oh he kissed me and she's like oh that feels like a, heart, a shot to the heart because earlier that episode they had a second chat and you know Cassie apologized again and they actually hugged it out this time and like actually made up but I'm like Anna's really dragging it now she's really dragging it because I mean I granted you can feel disrespected but I'm like because they shared a kiss now you're feeling some type of way like like what a, like come on be for real at the end of the day you don't want nothing to do with her well you called her an ick in the challenge that's something I forgot she called her an ick and actually kissed her cheek so I'm like if you called made her well aware in front of the whole world that you think she's an egg you know everybody knows that Leonardo and her are getting along together and doing whatever they're doing why are you upset about a kiss at the end of the day they don't you don't want him he don't want you anymore it is what it is like at the end of the day they're trying to move on and get to where they need to get to you like i don't know why you're still hung up on the whole situation because at the end of the day you did the same thing to cassie is that we see the whole you know keenan talking to emily and then the next you know kk cry and I'm like, what did Keenan tell KK after they had a home run that she's going to cry? Like, you cannot be serious, Keenan. You cannot be serious at all. You cannot. Next thing you know, I just also wanted to reiterate because I definitely been clock Anna's tea. I clocked it early. I was like, she's very much on her haterade. This is like how many times she's gonna flirt with Harrison. Basically, two times she did about a breakfast. She was flirting with him in the bathroom and they did a three way kiss. One to very much watch out for with the whole situation. Like, people think that, oh, she's all about this whole respect situation, but she's very sneaky. And I'm like, I don't understand why she's getting like so hung up on this whole Leonardo and Cassie situation where I'm just like, at the end of the day, Cassie just stole her man back from you. That's basically it. But anyway, guess this was episode 12 of Love Island USA season 5. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, like the video, comment down below. Let me know if you got some concerns. And you're not subscribed to my channel. Subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Peace.